That was by far the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. I've just never been in, in pain like that. Just unrelenting pain. Like, uh, I think at mile 11, I, I, I had the conscious thought, I've, this is the most pain I've ever been in my life. Making Olympic teams, you know, kicking for a medal, giving birth to my son, like this is honestly the most pain I've ever been in. I grew up running on trails. I started running when I was six, and I loved it right away. I just want to reconnect with why I loved running. I loved running because I loved being outside, being in the woods, and having my heart feel like it was going to beat out of my chest. And now I want to see what I'm capable of and something different. I think Leadville has such a good history, and the other challenge is the elevation. I mean, you're starting at 10,000 feet. <laughs> We're not in Boulder anymore. <laughs> I know there's gonna be so many challenges in that marathon and it's intimidating, but it's also really exciting. And I wanna bring that to other women. I want them to see, it doesn't matter how fast you are. And so now I've started talking to the youth as well about like really staying on this path in your life and keeping it in your life. And it just can do so much for you. And I think trail running is, it's an intimidating thing. So I think if I can help other women along that journey and encourage them to give it a try. Like maybe they could see me do it and they're like, okay, now I'm, I'm finally gonna try, I'm gonna do it. I'm a little nervous. I feel good though. I mean, I slept as well as you can, considering you're staring at like something you've never done and something that's really nerve wracking. So, that was good. I am a little nervous though. Training for this reminded me of what I actually loved about running because it's less about time and performance and more about accomplishing something. Just because I can't win a race doesn't mean it's not worth putting in the time and getting out there. I mean, very few people get to cross the line first. I think when you come from like an elite side where you're an Olympian and you can't win anymore, people are kind of just expect you to go away. But I'm like, no, I still want to challenge myself and I still want to see what I'm made of. I loved it. I mean, there was people that were flying down when I was going up and they were coming back. Couldn't believe how many, way to go, there were the whole time. Yeah, that is impressive. I know. <laughs> It's weird because it, it did not go how I had hoped. Like I went out way too hard and I really, I mean, I, it was a suffer fest for me. I was in hell for like over 10 miles. The hardest part was probably like 17 to 19 before you flipped around to start heading back. I'm gonna finish. Community was awesome. Like people were cheering for me the whole time. When I was in my rough patches, people were coming by and encouraging me. Everything's coming up. Run up? Yeah. But it's all right. It's all right. Just gotta get there. I'm gonna get there. I walked a lot through there. I would like walk like a quarter mile and try to jog like a quarter mile. My body was just rejecting it. You know, I was throwing up during that part. I was well way too hard. There were so many people like I'd walk and they'd walk with me and be like, you're doing great, Kara. Honestly, the people out there got me to the finish. I can't believe that so many people do this year after year. I'm like legit impressed with everyone that was out there today and everyone in the past. That was so hard and like I've done a lot of hard things. <laughs> that was the hardest thing by far.